Hello my dear little ones welcome back to our today's mathematics class today's session is the last part of this ninth unit length and weight now we are going to discuss the activity paddy collection see the amount of paddy the society collected during the past 5 days on the first day they got 1375 kg on the second day they got 150 kg loss on the third day 325 kg less than the second day on the fourth 100 kg more than the third day they collected 6000 kg on all five days together first question write the amount of paddy in kilograms got each day students how many kilograms of paddy were got on the first day yes 1375 kilograms on the second day they got 150 kilograms loss so to find out the amount of paddy got on the second day subtract 150 kg from 1375 kg 1375 minus 150 5 minus 0 5 7 minus 5 2 3 minus 1 2 and 1 is here 1225 paddy collected on the second day equals 1225 kg on the third day 325 kg less than second day so to find out the amount of paddy got on the third day subtract 325 kg from 1225 kg 1225 minus 325 5 minus 5 0 2 minus 2 0 We can't subtract three from two, so borrow one from one. Two becomes twelve, and one becomes zero. Twelve minus three, nine. Nine hundred. The amount of paddy got on the third day equals nine hundred kilogram. On the fourth day, hundred kilograms more than the third day. So to find out the amount of paddy got on the fourth day, add hundred kilogram with nine hundred kilogram. 900 plus 100 equals 1000 paddy got on the fourth day equals 1000 kg they collected 6000 kg on all five days together so to find out the paddy collected on the fifth day we have to subtract the total collection of four days from 6000 kg at first find the total collection of paddy got in four days together So add 1375 kg 1225 kg 900 kg and 1000 kg 5 plus 5 10 0 10 0 10 write 0 here and what is the carry over 7 plus 2 9 0 9 0 9 1 10 0 plus 0 9 9 1 10 Right, zero here, and one is the carryover. Three plus two, five plus nine, fourteen plus zero, fourteen plus one, fifteen. Right, five here, and one is the carryover. One plus one, two plus one, three plus one, four, four thousand five hundred. Total collection of paddy in four days equals. 4500 kg how can we find the collection of paddy on the fifth day to find out this subtract 4500 kg from 6000 kg 6000 minus 4500 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 we can't subtract 5 from 0 so borrow 1 from 6 0 becomes 10 and 6 becomes 5 10 minus 5 5 5 minus 4 1500 collection of paddy on the fifth day equals 1500 kg next question how many tons of paddy were collected in all they collected 6000 kg on all five days together we know that 1000 kg make 1 ton so 6000 kg make 6 ton 
How many tons of paddy were collected in all? Yes, six ton. And also mention how many quintals. We know that one ton equals ten quintal. So six ton equals sixty quintal. Next question: How many quintals were got on the first two days together? At first, add the weight of paddy in kilograms got on the first two days together. That means add thousand three hundred seventy five kilogram and thousand two hundred twenty five kilogram. Five plus five, ten. Write zero here and one is the carryover. Seven plus two, nine plus one, ten. Write zero here and one is the carryover. Three plus two, five plus one, six. One plus one. Two, two thousand six hundred kilogram. Next, we have to convert this two thousand six hundred kilogram into quintal. We know that thousand kilogram equals ten quintal, so two thousand six hundred kilogram equals twenty six quintal. Next question: How many tons were collected on the fourth day? See, on the fourth day, thousand kilogram of paddy were collected. Thousand kilogram equals one ton. So, how many tons were collected on the fourth day? Yes, one ton. Then, last question: How much more is needed to make the collection on the third day? One ton. Paddy collection on the third day equals nine hundred kilogram. We know that thousand kilogram make one ton. How much more is needed for nine hundred kilogram to make thousand kilogram? To find out this. Subtract 900 kilogram from 1000 kilogram. 1000 minus 900 equals 100. How much more is needed to make the collection on the third day? One ton, 100 kilogram. Next question: Kitchen. The school kitchen is being rebuilt. Six tons of sand, two tons of cement, and three tons of gravel. How many kilograms is each of these? Students, one ton equals thousand kilogram. So six tons of sand make six thousand kilogram. Two tons of cement make two thousand kilogram, and three tons of gravel make three thousand kilogram. Next, write this weight of materials in quintals. We know that thousand kilogram make ten quintal. So six thousand kilogram of sand make sixty quintal. 2000 kg of cement make 20 quintals and 3000 kg of gravel make 30 quintal two types of metal rods were bought 1375 kg of thick rods and 3625 kg of thinner rods how many ton of rods in all listen students weight of thick rods equals 1375 kg Weight of thinner rods equals three thousand six hundred twenty-five kilogram. Let's find out its total weight. Add thousand three hundred seventy-five and three thousand six hundred twenty-five. Five plus five, ten. Write zero here and one is the carryover. Seven plus two, nine plus one, ten. Write zero here and one is the carryover. Three plus six, nine plus one, ten. Write zero here, and one is the carryover. Three plus one, four plus one, five, five thousand. Weight of metal rods equals five thousand kilogram. Next, convert five thousand kilogram into ton. We know that thousand kilogram make one ton, so five thousand kilogram make five ton. How many ton of rods in all? Five ton. Next question: What is the difference in the weight of the two types? How much is the weight of thick rods? Thousand three hundred seventy-five kilogram. How much is the weight of thinner rods? Three thousand six hundred twenty-five kilogram. To find its difference, subtract thousand three hundred seventy-five kilogram from three thousand six hundred twenty-five kilogram. Three thousand six hundred twenty-five minus thousand three hundred seventy-five. Five minus five, zero. We can't subtract seven from two. So borrow one from six. Two becomes twelve, and six becomes five. Twelve minus seven, five. Five minus three, two. Three minus one, two. 
2250 what's the difference in the weights of the two types 2250 kg students i hope you all understood today's activities you have to practice these activities very well and also there is a textual activity for you dear students today's class is over thank you